All right, welcome back, and let's now see what we have here. Now, I've got all my photos arranged in the order that I need them. I don't know if I explained it in the last video, but if you need to move something around, you just tap and hold on it, and then you can move it to wherever you need it, okay? So that's, that's easy enough to do. But now that we have the photos all in there, we can start to add our voiceover to them. But before we do, let's go ahead and change each one of these transitions. This one that looks like a little bow tie here, that's a dissolve transition. We have to change them all to none, okay? We're not gonna have any transitions in this documentary. They're just, it's just not appropriate. Usually a dissolve kind of shows the passage of time or something, and we just don't need to have them here. So we're gonna get rid of all those um, transitions. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I just have a few left to do here. So I'm just scrolling through, tapping on each one, changing it over to none until we are completely done here. Okay, so I have all the transitions now changed to none. Let me go back to the very first photo and let's get ready to add our voiceover. I'm just gonna go to the, the very first part of the clip, uh, tap on it. Now, I, it shouldn't, I shouldn't have to really say it, but you need to be in a nice, quiet space. Okay, so you need to find a place in your school, in your home, or whatever that you can do a nice voiceover. There's nothing worse than, than students trying to turn in work and they're they're trying to do it in a busy classroom. They're doing it in the, on the bus, in the car, and you got all these, you know, the radio playing and all that. You, you can't hear the person, what they're saying. For a professional, nice documentary, you need a nice, quiet voiceover. And you've just got to go find the space. Maybe it's out in your yard or something, but someplace that you can record the, uh, the voiceover. So... Let me go ahead and grab my storyboard here. Let's go to page one for our little coffee farmer. And the dialogue is people around the world work hard every day. Okay, so I'm in my, my documentary here. I'm just gonna go put my playhead right at the beginning of, well, it wants to snap always to the end of this clip here, but it doesn't matter. It, it, there, since there's no transition here, it's not going to make a difference. But anyhow, I want to get ready to record this. If you have it selected, it thinks that you want to edit the uh, Ken Burns effect on there and you don't want to do that. And so the microphone's not gonna be activated, but just tap on the microphone again and it will get you out so that you're ready to do this. Okay, so we have the microphone. You can see from the visual representation here that it's picking up my voice. I've got my script right here and it's ready to go. People around the world work hard every day and tap on record and it'll count down and then we can stop it. People around the world work hard every day. Oop, pressed the wrong button there. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm gonna redo that one there. So I'm gonna do a retake. Okay. People around the world work hard every day. Now notice I don't start talking the moment it it gives me. You see, I've got the little bit of time here. That's breather time, and that's natural to have in your documentary. But the thing is, our photo now goes on way beyond our breather time. So let me just go ahead and accept that recording. Watch it here. People around the world work hard every day. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this then. I'm gonna just tap on the clip, grab the back edge of it, and just bring it in just to match up with the, 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 um, the breather time that we have in there. All right, let's go ahead and now shoot the next one here for families, for their families. Okay, and tap on the microphone. For their families. Okay, accept that one. Go ahead and trim that one to us. Whenever we stop talking there, that's good. And now let's do the next one, press record. For a brighter future. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just, just going through the whole thing. I want to show you what it looks like when we get to a, um, a narration here that's actually longer than the clip. And then we have to, just like we're shortening each clip now, we will just extend the one that's longer there. But let, we're, we're going to get to it really soon here. Um, Where did we get? Uh, for a brighter future, for a chance to make a difference. Here we go. for a chance to make a difference. 
accept. And so see, we're getting, the one thing about filmmaking is that you get into these little rhythms where you just keep going and going and going and it's quite, quite enjoyable. So, all right, I'm on to page two of our, okay, so this is kind of a longer dialogue here. So let's go ahead and do that one. So press the microphone. But hard work isn't always enough in a world where opportunity is limited and resources are scarce. Okay, so now you can see we just went a little bit long. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to just extend it now to the end of me speaking. Now let's go ahead and let me just, I don't know if my microphone up here picks up my speakers down there, but let's rewind what we have so far just so you can start to hear what we have. And now this, this first clip has not been edited yet. I'd like to take a moment and explain what Kiva.org does. People around the world work hard every day for their families, for a brighter future, for a chance to make a difference. But hard work isn't always enough in a world where opportunity is limited and resources are scarce. Okay, that is starting to sound really, really great and look really great together. So go ahead with the storyboard and with all your photos and record your voiceover on top of them. Really be careful to make sure you get a nice, clean recording. And then when we come back in the next video, we're going to then um, edit the video parts of it. So we're gonna trim them down a little bit and start to really just tighten things up. And I think uh, we're ready to move on to post-production.